Okay, so you've seen it, yeah, the G4 disruptor shoe. I'm gonna give my verdict as quick as I possibly can. I'm gonna keep this very, very tight indeed. I don't wanna waffle on about a pair of shoes and I'm gonna limit myself to three minutes starting now. Right, first of all, let me thank trendygolf.com, fantastic website, delivered these to me. About 10 days ago, I've been on the course, probably about four or five rounds that I've played in these and this is what I think about them. First of all, I've gotta talk about looks. Now then, these are very much a copy of what's gone on in terms of high street fashion. So styles such as these are worn out there on every day. Low top kind of trainers, sneakers, I suppose you'd call them, in mainstream fashion. And I like the way they've brought that into the game of golf. The G4 brand itself is very, very bold. So umbrellas like this, golf gloves like this, which are very, very bright in color, and they're very much for the golfer that likes to go noticed. And I think, more importantly than that, aimed at a younger audience. And I love the fact that there's some fascist conscious golfers out there which these will appeal to. But I wanna know your opinions on the looks of these. These are the G4 Disruptor. I like the look of them. I think they're really plain and simple, but we've gotta talk about performance. And the first thing I'll go to is the grip on these things. Let me get that into focus. As a spikeless shoe, the grip on these is absolutely superb. I've played them from bunkers, from rough, from uh, wet conditions I've also played. It's a fully waterproof shoe and the grip is absolutely fantastic. But what I like about it is walking from off the course into the clubhouse or as I'm even wearing them today, you don't notice that grip is there and they're very much an on the course and off course shoe. Comfort wise, First time I put them on, I thought this leather is a little bit rigid, a bit noisy as well. Within six holes, the noise had gone, they'd started to break down and they were unbelievably comfy. I looked at these things at the back and I thought, a um, couple of blisters guaranteed there, couldn't be further from the truth. They are seriously 100% a unbelievably comfy shoe. In the footbed, there's like a raised pattern in the footbed, which again, when I first put them on, I thought that's a bit odd. I've got a feeling that's to mold to the shape of your particular uh, foot. And like I said, I can't explain how comfortable these things are. I love them, but I like them, like I said, for on and off the course. And I find that I'm driving in the car to the golf course with them, playing the round of golf, having a drink in the bar. The issues are bright white shoes, gonna take some keeping clean. They're already starting to look a bit shabby. Laces, get them in focus. Can you get them? They're already really dirty, and I think some of the dye off the tongue is coming onto the laces. So they're the kind of issues that you may have, but overall performance, absolutely fantastic from a G4 shoe. How long have we got left? We've got 13 seconds to wrap this one up. Thing I'm interested in is your opinion. Are they too much for you? Would you wear the G4 Disruptor? Would you wear the G4 High Tops? What's your opinion on? That's what I'm really interested in. That is the end of my review. First review ever done on a pair of shoes. That's the alarm going off. Hit the like button, comment down below. Your opinion is the one that matters. I want G4 to watch this video and I want them to get some feedback. What do you think of this range of footwear? Are you gonna be wearing it?